Previously on Paradise Cafe. Let me take you to see my friend. He totally rocks and he's so looking forward to meeting you. I need Ty, the seaborn, on my side. We need to lure him from his friend. You need it at the cafe, Ty. They're the past, Ty. We're the future. It's decision time. He got a taste for our life and took a step closer to us. In time, he will find it impossible to say no to me. Just a dream. A really bad dream. Last night, as he slept, I led him here to take his body. But his goodness lessened my power over him. I must weaken his virtue. This coin has the power to fulfill one's most secret desires. Humans who possess it always succumb to greed. Ty's not like that. Remember our purpose. If he is the Seaborn, we both need him to get what we want. So give him the coin, and quickly, before that meddling scientist seals the coral and traps me here forever. And then you will keep your promise to me? You will have life. When Ragnar lives again! <laughs> You need to be cool to pull off wearing a T-shirt like this. I am cool. Cooler than you. Hey, Chloe, who do you think's cooler, Ty or me? Um, well, it's cool just to be yourself. Unless you're Robbo. <laughs> I have an idea. Why don't you toss a coin to see who gets the T-shirt? Oh, two bucks. Tails. Kids, <laughs> best of three. Have you seen this? There's a smoothie making competition in the village today. $200 prize, which I am so gonna win. <laughs> nuh -uh, that prize is mine. Then I'll get this. The Mixing Master Deluxe. Just the thing to give me an edge over the other cafes. I'll crush the competition. Right. Someone say crush the competition. Chicks, I can totally relate. Crush them all. Bro, if I had that scooter, would you finally bow to my superior coolness? But you don't have it. And you won't have it. Not at that price. If I was to DJ at the party later, would you finally admit that I'm cooler than you? But you're not a DJ, so I'm still cooler than you. Plus, I got this. The T-shirt of cool. That your grandma bought for you. Hey, fellas. It's right on the island. Give you a good deal. Nah, can't afford it. I'll get a purple. Hey, Ty, that's your lucky coin. To waste it on fruit would be wrong. It's just a coin. You won 12 times in a row. But I like purple. Well, we should test its lucky powers. You and Robert could toss to see who carries the box of bananas back to the cafe. Why not? I'm feeling lucky. Oh, Marty, 
And I'm here to check out the ultimate smoothie. Who makes them? I do. Hey, I'm the smoothie-making queen. Back in 88, ladies, when I was a pro surfer, I was the king of the waves. And I will be again, as soon as I get my leg back. What do you mean, get it back? It's still out there, stuck on a shark's fin. Stuck? How? Well, the shark took my leg, but I, uh, well, I snatched it back. Started thrashing the beast with my own leg. But it got stuck on its fin. After that, well, I didn't last too long. How will you get your leg back? Well, that pesky shark scares the heebies out of me. But I'm working on the problem. So, you both claim to make the best smoothie ever. Why don't we see who's right? And let's make it interesting. What if I could guarantee that the winner of this contest will win that contest? How? Trust me. I have a secret weapon. Trust a sea ghost? You'll have to if you want to win. Let the games begin. Bring it on. See, I told you. I'll catch you guys at the cafe. The best smoothie ever is... Not that one. Or that one. The fact is, I make the best smoothie ever. Close your eyes. OK. Open your eyes. That's amazing. What makes it so totally rad is my secret ingredient, which I'll share with only one of you. That means a new contest. Winner gets the secret and the prize money. I guarantee it. that you, Ty, are the seaborn. My nana says you're evil. <laughs> I am the one who can reveal your powers. I don't have any powers. Well, let us see. Do you have a coin? Perfect. Now a simple coin in the hands of the seaborn can become powerful. With a single flip, he can obtain anything he desires. Isn't that kind of wrong? Time is short, my friend. Use the coin. Confirm you are the one that controls the ocean and all that is in it. What if I don't want to be the seaborn? My boy, if you are the one, you have no choice. It is your destiny! Careful. Don't blink first. Ow! Dudes, you both blinked. She blinked first. Another test. Something to show who's hungriest. What could that something be? I know. Finding me a new leg. You can't be serious. Three words. Two hundred dollars. Be 
Daddy Cool is in the house. I'm the DJ. Ooh. They say the Seaborn was a kind of superhero, but I don't think he was. I think he was human, like you and me. I think he made mistakes all the time. Do you think he ever misused his powers? Like, he really wanted something, but to get it meant doing something wrong? I'm sure even the Seaborn sometimes had to do what was best for him. Now, Marty, this isn't just any old bird. It's an Ernesto Bortoncelli. Bottom jelly? Bortoncelli. It's Italian for... Don't let my mother see you wearing it. <laughs> what are you doing with your dad's stereo? I'm the DJ for the party later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, stop! Uh, Marty! Hey, cool music, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm off to the hotel. Victoria wants an update on the coral ceiling device. Uh, hey! Don't ever do whatever this is again. But it's cool. My ears hurt. Dad thought it was cool. I risked my case. Oh, oh. Mm. Oh. Hmm. Four fifty is your lowest price. That's the bargain, mate. What if I wanted it for nothing? No, nah, don't waste my time. Wait up, wait up. I don't have all day. Yours. I want you to have it. Here. Hop on. There's only one helmet. Oh well. See you later. It's a chicks league. Just try it. I'm not having a chicks league. It's the only one I could find. It'll work. Dude, I'm king of the waves. I need a league with daring and, and courage and, and good looks. There's only one league like that, and it looks a lot like this one. Sorry, nobody found me a new league, so nobody gets the secret ingredient. But I need it to win the $200, because I need to get the Mixing Master Deluxe. How hungry are you for it? I'm starving. Then do what you have to do. You mean, get your real leg back? That's right. From the shark. Victory to the one that gets my leg. You don't seriously think we'd actually do that, do you? We're not that dumb. For a start, we'd need a boat. We don't have a boat. The only person we know with a boat is Megan's dad, and... What are you doing? Dude, you're giving her a head start. I am not going shark hunting. Fine, whatever. Doesn't matter now anyway. All I needed was for one of you to want to win more than the other. You just sent Megan shark hunting. She wants to win. Sometimes we'll do whatever it takes. What if she doesn't get it? Well, if she doesn't, there might be trouble. Ugh. Robbo! Come on! We have to get the leg. Megan can't do it by herself. Come on! Whoa, easy. Let's think about this. One, Marty's harmless. Harmless? He's a sea ghost. Two, it's a shark. Now, if you'll excuse me, the beat daddy must rehearse. Oh, my mixing desk. Hey dudes, have you 
you got my leg yet? Let's find that shark. Megan! Wait, Megan! Megan, stop! Megan, wait! Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop! Marty tricked us. All he wanted was one of us to want to win so bad that would fetch his leg from the shark. Maybe you're trying to trick me. Trust me. Megan, it's true. We need to get his leg back anyway. He's trouble like all sea ghosts. He's trashing the cafe. The only way to make him leave is to get his leg back from the shark. Right. Let's get that shark. How'd you get that? Let's just say I made a deal. I yield to you your royal coolness. When can I take it for a spin? Later. What's this about a shark? We need to get a sea ghost leg from a shark. I think I might be able to help. You can't go. It'll be dangerous. Don't let him out of your sight. can't come. What if you get wet? I have to come. All right, let's go. We've been out here for ages. Does anyone know how to attract a shark? Here, sharky, sharky. Here, sharky. Here, sharky, sharky, sharky. Sharky, yeah, sharky, sharky. sharky. I'm the seaborn. I control all the ocean and everything that's in it. Come on, Shark. Ty? Ty, sit down. Ty! Get on board! Ty, what are you doing? Ty, get out, man. It's Shark. A sea ghost? And you knew? I asked Megan to keep it a secret. She should have told us. Why would you protect a sea ghost? She's my friend. That's why she didn't want to come on the boat. She was scared she'd get wet. Just as well she came, though. She helped to save Ty. I don't get it. Why did you even come on the boat? You knew you'd probably get wet. To protect Ty. Some believe he may be the seaborn. Only the seaborn can summon a shark, and when he jumped in, it must have recognized him as the seaborn. But Robbo was in the water too. Uh, hey, yeah, I was. Robbo, no, 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 no. Ty jumped in first. But Robbo jumped in, and then the shark came. Which means I could be the seaborn. Makes sense. I'm total hero material. Two idiots thrashing around in the water could easily attract a shark. No one here is the seaborn. Not Robbo, not Ty. Let's go. Perfect. You still owe us that secret ingredient. Not gross. The secret ingredient. OK, seriously? <laughs> I'm not putting sea ghost boogies in my smoothies. Yuck. In fact, I'm over the whole competing thing. Why don't we just ditch the competition, Megan? I mean, I'd only spend the money on beauty products, which clearly I don't need. Well, I still want my mixing master. You don't need the mixing master. You already make the best smoothies on the island. There, I said it. Now let's never compete again. Who makes the best smoothies ever? Marty does. The king of the waves rides again. I don't think you should hang out with us anymore. I'll be I told you. Chloe's not like other sea ghosts. We can trust her. 
How do you know she's not a sneak like the rest of them? She has one secret. She might have more, right? Tell them, Chloe. No more secrets. When I first met you, I had been sent to earn your trust and then betray you. See? I knew it. Who sent you? Ragnar. Ragnar! He, he promised to make me human again. I hate being a sea ghost. I want to be like you. That's why I did it. You'll never be like us. <laughs> I trusted you. I kept your secret. And you lied to me! Egan! <laughs> Ragnar sent you to find me, didn't he? Oh, to find the Seaborn. Um, but no, I think that's Robbo, so... But the scooter, I got it with the coin. How'd I do it if I'm not the Seaborn? Ragnar controls the coin. Its purpose is to make whoever has it succumb to greed, not to find out if they're the Seaborn. Take back the scooter. But trust me, sometimes we have to make things right, even, even if it means losing what we want the most. Where's your scooter? Took it back. Decided it was too cool for me. Shame, but true. As you can see, I too have surrendered to my own coolness. Me jumping in the water today. Brave or stupid? I've been going with stupid. Helping a friend like you did? That was cool. Seaborn's identity is uncertain. When the shark appeared, both Ty and Robbo were in the water. I need the Seaborn's body. Time is running out for me. Or us both. All is not lost. Ty did succumb to greed. If he is the one, taking his body will be easier. It may not be so easy. His virtue is restored. Restored? How? my friend and I, I could not betray him. Please understand that I could not. But you betray me. You have made your choice, Chloe. You will never live again. 